Hey everyone, Julian here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make crazy heavy electro techno in the style of Lock Club and Boys Noise. As usual, you can get this full project file, samples, MIDI, presets. The entire template is available at the top of the description on my website. For just $5, you can get one of the best electro templates on the market. Honestly, one of the first ones I've even seen in this style. And it's really going to help you get where you've been trying to get and make the best tracks of your life. So go ahead and grab that. Link is at the top of the description. Support yourself making the best tracks. And yeah, let's dive in. All right, so we're at 130 BPM. First thing we got here is the kick and snare. Kind of treating these as one group because I think, you know, that's really how these tracks work. It's a lot of call and response. And it's the kick hitting and then the snare being the response to that. The doom, doom, sh, doom. And when you pick these, you really want to make sure like it's a kick and a snare that groove together. I think it's not enough just to say, oh, it's an 808 kick and an 808 snare. It's like, no, it's ones that are like very carefully selected using like just a lot of different samples to create this. So the kick is just this nice punchy 808 I made a while ago. And this is also being converted to mono too, because if you look at this waveform, there's some weird stereo stuff. That's what those like two lines are basically so that just makes sure it's gonna punch and then for the snare it's an 808 snare that's already like a really solid one like if you listen to this sample on its own it's already like a great 808 snare and then I'm adding a little bit of reverb like it's not that much and then distorting it after that so that brings the reverb out more that's why you hear it so prominently and it also just makes the snare just like smack through the mix like this. So after those, we got these hi-hats. And what I'm doing is I'm using the 808 hi-hat, like the open one. You can see I made it a bit shorter. This is just the Ableton 808 kit. So you can do this with the stuff you already have in Ableton right now, you know, just if you use it right. And then here I'm using the 606 core kit to create this little hi-hat groove. And I have those in a group just going through a little bit of drum bus, so it's not the heaviest distortion, but what it is is we're blending it at 45%, so it's honestly heavier than I would normally use. Here's without it. And then with it, you can see it just really makes these like smack and feel like that crunchy textured kind of hi-hats like you want. And then we have all the drums in a group. So what's happening there is we're just saturating them all together. So here's without the saturation. With. In here it glues all the drums together you know you get the hi-hats kind of crunching against the kick which goes a long way as well for making it feel very just like together and kind of like evenly textured you know if you want to make these kinds of tracks where everything really sounds like it's got the same texture and it's like all coming from the same world like this the key is put everything under the same sonic umbrella like the saturation or some kind of coloring so that it can really become like all that same texture and the key to this is really we're just using the medium curve I don't even have the drive up but if you set it to medium curve it makes things hit harder and then we're using the bass frequency here to really get that crunch plus it's only at 12% if I turn that up see, it's like this is what the distorted signal is and then we're just blending that with the dry signal then we have this 808 bus So what's happening is we have four layers making up the main 808, which are all the same sample processed in different ways. So really get that insane Lock Club style 808. And then we also have this little tom which just hits on every other two. Right, and that just kind of like creates a little bit of counterpoint for the group. So for the actual MIDI, this is what it looks like on the 808. It's just this one note. It's just E across two different octaves. Right? And you notice it's a, it kind of bounces off of the kick. Like it plays some of the notes with the kick, 
and then some of the notes it plays that the kick isn't playing and then you get like this kind of so you see how that's creating a lot of groove so you don't always just want the 808 to follow what the kick is doing a lot of times having it like this where it's just like following some of those notes and then some of them it bounces off creates so much groove and then also then you add in this thing and just having that one on every other two also adds a lot of groove as you can see so then for the actual 808 sound it starts with this layer before you get all that distortion going you just want a nice fat 808 that's grooving with your drums that's in the low end like this is not you know all distorted just yet there's really no processing on this other than just side chaining it and it just gives you that solid foundation of bass right so this is like a hip hop 808 and then we move up to this layer next which is kind of like the first main 808 so what's happening is we're taking that 808 that you just heard and even though it's really bassy if you look at this on the spectrum you can see actually there's quite a bit of upper harmonic content like this that one right there the big just kind of like thing i'm highlighting right now that's kind of like what's called the fundamental harmonic but if you look over here you can see all this harmonic stuff happening here and here and here and especially over here right so then what we're doing is we with distortion we're essentially bringing that out more and kind of like working with that so on this one what's happening is first i'm actually band passing it so kind of like honing in on just where that harmonic content is happening then we have an overdrive an amp after the overdrive which is actually only at like 49 percent but it just adds a nice distorted layer a side chain i think you can see we're cutting out the low end so this is just like a mid-range layer that'll blend with the other 808 and we're actually cutting out the highs too so it doesn't clash with the high end layers and mess up the mastering or anything but by using the same sample for all of these 808 layers that's what's gonna make it work if you start trying to use like a few different 808s and blend them and all that it's gonna get real messy really fast this is how you keep it clean is just use the same 808 and build up the layers by distorting that one so then we have this one which you can see blends with that other one nicely kind of fills out this like distorted top stuff so this is the same 808 high passing it usually if you high pass into the distortion you're going to get a better result then chorus to make it a bit stereo because we want a bit of stereo width but just with like a layer like this which is not going to have any stereo low end right we're using pedal which gets us that but then an amp after it side chain and then a high pass and then the last 808 layer is this one which just adds a little bit here's without it with it's just that last push to really make it hit so this is the same 808 we're cutting out 100 hertz so it's cutting out some of that mud distorting it distorting it again side chaining and then high pass and you put those all together and you get this huge distorted 808 and then for the tom that's just a 606 tom being distorted with this amp and then high passed and then on the 808 bus i have even more distortion so here it is with no processing then we have an overdrive at just five percent eq which you can see you know cuts a bit of the sub so it's not so heavy and it can kind of like actually groove we're cutting a bit of 100 hertz which makes room for the kick because that's usually where the kick is hitting and then we're boosting the mids and highs to kind of just make it even more juicy and then we have a little bit of drum bus just the final glue at the end then we have this So the way I made this, I used this tree tone, which is creating that, right? It's from this 
Inspired by Nature Pack. I can see you just dial in all these knobs. And you can create these like crazy tones, right? So I made this one. And then what I did is I recorded it as just like a piece of audio, which all you'd have to do is just make like a little audio track. Set the input to be that 14 tree tune. Do this. Okay, and then we have a little chunk. Right, just as audio. And then what I did is I actually brought that into a sampler in Ableton. It's not a sampler, it's a sampler. And what we're using is we're using the oscillator, the FM oscillator here. To, so it kind of like, I'll show you, if I turn the volume down. See how that's adding in that like kind of thing? So we're using that and then it has an envelope that makes it go down so you kind of get it like shaped. And that's why it goes kind of into it, right? So it's like taking that and actually using FM from a triangle wave to push it even further. And then we're also using this low pass with a little bit of an envelope on it. And then a bit of this sand shaver. Here's without that. Then with it, right? Then we're using this amp, so here's without that. Really makes it sound full. A bit of hybrid reverb, side chain, and then a high pass filter. So yeah, it's a good way to take one of these crazy devices in Ableton, this tree tone, that can really make interesting stuff, and then just putting it into sam Sampler and using the power that Sampler has to create a really cool, unique little stab that you couldn't get any other way. And then the last thing down here is the vocals. So yeah, it's like these kind of like old school trap vocals, right? You know, just really crunchy and textured already. There's actually no processing even needed on these. I think when you're making these, you really want to aim to just find something that already has a crazy texture to it and bring that into your project rather than, you know, trying to add the texture after with a bunch of effects. So we're using those and it's really just the contrast where you get the one where it's very clear, right? And then one that's a bit deeper and more background. So it's like at one moment you're hearing these very upfront vocals and then the next there's still vocals in the track. They're just not like right in your face and you can pay attention to the other stuff. And yeah, so if you follow all the steps, you should be able to make a track in the style. As you can see, it just takes a bit of magic with some of these little elements here. So yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get the sick Lock Club and Boys Noise style template right at the top of the description on my website for just $5. When you get this, you'll be able to make the best tracks of your life. I promise you, this is a really, really high quality template. And if you Take advantage of what's available in front of you right now. You'll get where you're trying to get with music. I promise you. I studied this stuff for so long so I could bring this to you guys. So definitely go ahead and grab that. Support yourself making your best music. I'm trying to give you guys some value here at an affordable price so we can all learn and make the best tracks of our lives. Thank you so much for the support, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.